From Slave to Hero, How Robert Smalls Became an American Icon Robert Smalls was born a slave in Buford, South Carolina. During the Civil War, Smalls worked on a Confederate ship called the CSS Planter. On the morning of May 13, 1862, Smalls surrendered the CSS Planter to Union forces and gained freedom for his family and himself. His daring act made the federal government and President Abraham Lincoln recognize him and award him with many things. This included an audience with President Abraham Lincoln where Smalls was given the opportunity to lead the effort to enlist African American men to fight for the Union forces in the Civil War. Smalls then participated in military campaigns along South Carolina's coast as a Union captain. He also fought as a pilot on the CSS Planter and the USS Cook. After the Civil War, Smalls started focusing more on politics and government. He was one of the founders of the Buford County South Carolina Republican Club. He also served on the Buford County School Board and helped establish the first school for African American children. Robert Smalls Middle School in Buford, South Carolina was built in 1925 to honor Robert Smalls, 10 years after he passed away. All of Smalls' heroic actions got him elected in the South Carolina Constitutional Convention of 1868, where he proposed resolutions to create South Carolina's public school system and protect the civil rights of African Americans. From 1869 to 1889, Small served in both houses of South Carolina legislation and served five terms in the United States Congress. Robert Smalls didn't let anything stop him from accomplishing his goals. Smalls' involvement in the government and the Civil War was a turning point in American history. Robert Smalls showed everyone that the color of your skin doesn't define who you are. Your actions do.